We are in London. London, as you can see. Yeah, we were in Great Britain uh, last time, no, two episodes ago. It was Gibraltar. a little bit better in Gibraltar, still Great Britain. Today we are in London. And we can enjoy the typical English weather. Yeah, it's not raining, so that's a good point. Exactly. There's a chapa. Chapa is uh, coming after after us. Uh, today we're gonna show you a trip on the most important places here in London. Just a one-day trip. We went like 13 kilometers today. Yes, maybe more, maybe more. Yes. But uh, the next one will be more outside. Yeah, more so outside. London city center. Exactly, the Richmond Park. Maybe we're gonna go up this triangle skyscraper to show yeah. you the view. Uh, and on the next side of the river, right there's there. a Shakespeare's Globe, the Shakespeare's Theater. Yeah, this is how it looks like. And today, just enjoy the VR trip with us. Come on. We start our trip from the London Eye. It's the most popular paid tourist attraction in the United Kingdom with almost 4 million visitors annually. We decided not to go up this time, as for the same price you can go to the top of the sharp skyscraper, which you will see in the next episode. Next stop, Westminster Bridge. From here we can see the Palace of Westminster and the Big Ben. Unfortunately, there was a renovation taking place, which is the reason why it looks so weird. On our way to Buckingham Palace, we went through St. James's Park. It's great that in the middle of London there are places like this one, where you can totally relax. I think we don't need to introduce this place, the Buckingham Palace. The London residence and administrative headquarters of the monarch of the United Kingdom. If you have tons of money, Harrods is a place for you. We didn't, so we just recorded it for you from the outside. A gigantic park in the central part of London is called the Hyde Park. Great place to have a walk, play some football or participate in a big music event. Oxford Street is Europe's busiest shopping street, with around half a million daily visitors and around 300 shops. And believe me or not, but it wasn't my idea to go there.
Soho is one of the main entertainment districts in London. From Soho we went to see the Piccadilly Circus and walked next to the Chinatown, which you will see in a moment. Piccadilly Circus has nothing to do with a circus as we understand it. In this context, a circus, from the Latin word meaning circle, is a round open space at a street junction. At the moment we are at the pedestrianized Leicester Square. From here we're gonna move to the much bigger Trafalgar Square with statues, mon monuments and fountains. On our way to the Tower of London we saw the St. Paul's Cathedral. It was the tallest building in London from 1710 to 1967. And here it is, the Tower of London. It was founded almost 1000 years ago. We didn't go inside the castle, so you can just have a quick look on it from the outside. This bridge that crosses the River Thames close to the Tower of London has become an iconic symbol of London. It is a combined bascule and suspension bridge. The Tower Bridge consists of two bridge towers tied together at the upper level by two horizontal walkways. High level walkways and Victorian engine rooms form part of the Tower Bridge exhibition, for which an admission charge is made.
And that's the end of our one day trip, about 18 kilometers, 100% by foot. We hope you enjoyed it and remember to visit us this Saturday at 4 p.m. CET as we are going to publish another episode from London with fantastic views from the Shard, the Camden Town and Richmond Park. Thanks for all your subscriptions and comments. We really appreciate it. See ya. Bye bye.